Hey everyone, this is Mother from Technisha Studios here for another video. So in this video, I would be talking about one of the features of um, Photoshop that is a little bit less used but is very important. One of the most important features of Photoshop. So the feature I'm talking about is guides. So what to do when you need a guide? So uh, need to place a guide. You press uh, press Control or Command R to bring up the rules. You just place inside and what if you want us uh, the guide at to be at a specific position just go to view guy a new guide and like 50 percent or something like that you do that and it comes up so that's uh, uh, how basic users and others use guides so this is real simple and some of you may like it as it is um, in the uh, in Photoshop but there's also a feature uh, which can be added, an additional feature which is kind of a plugin which is available for uh, users of Photoshop CS6 and CS5 to be downloaded. Um, so the name of that is Guide Guide. So let's turn that on. We're going to uh, uh, Window Extensions Guide Guide. The link to download the Guide Guide would be in description. So, first of all, when you like to start up Guide Guide for the first time, it shows you this dialog box: Guide Guide Privacy, Privacy. Uh, guide Guide would like permission to collect anonymous data information to help in development, such as blah blah blah. Just click yes. So. I'll just show you its features in just rather than a second. So here it is like guide guide it is open over here. So first of all you see like you have two tabs over here grid and set. So we have three sets that is presets I've label which you can use. So we're not going to see uh, talk about that. So we have these 10 uh, like blocks 10 text boxes where you can add so first of all like you can as you can see this is the horizontal midpoint and the vertical midpoint uh, guides that you can create by just clicking it so this is basically very useful like the vertical and the horizontal midpoint guides so I use them in almost all of the wallpapers I have made you can see like this one keep calm the Technesia studios one the other one like uh, which I told you like showed you in the beginning uh, how to create that that too so um like um like just clicking here and creating guides is real simple and if you want to remove any of the guides that are present on your like um the document just press this and if you want to like uh set it at different margins like um for example this is a 1366 into s uh, 768 pixels document so if you want like at and um, margins if you want margins from uh, all of the four sides of like 100 pixels we can just type in 100 px which stands for 100 pixels and just click it so you'll see you get 100 pixels margin of uh, like um, guide present over here you also can click this like to remove them so let's type in 100 pixels yeah we have that we don't need to type that again and again let's type in 100 pixels over here hundred for these so you see this is like the uh, top and bottom this is left and right hundred px so you see we now get a f uh, four of those margins if you want to remove these just click uh, this key and if you want to empty out all of these text boxes just hold it for a second so they would be gone so we also have the number of columns and number of rows option available like you can uh, uh, specify like if you want if you are designing a magazine or a website you can just type in like 10 um, 10 columns and the left side shows the columns and the right sh uh, shows the uh, rows so for example like 10 columns and I guess 7 seven rows whatever it is so you'll see one by one these to be created and you'll see these all like you have these seven seven rows and ten columns you can always remove them by clicking this you can always set to like if you're working on some uh, if you have if you use some of some kinds of uh, um, these guides for a long time you can just create them as a preset uh, which should be stored in the sets menu by clicking on this plus key so you can name it like as demo guide 
or GG. So there's press the tick key and it would be here demo gg so let's remove once all of these and then let's try so selecting the demo gg and clicking which will show out you this so you also have some of these available before only like the outlines which should cover out the outlines of uh, which is like zero pixels margin as we can say two column grid so you see we have the gutter margin in between and we have two columns so you have three column grid which I'll first remove and then show you so we have the two gutter margins and then we have the three columns so I'll show you what how to see how you can set yourself the gutter margins so after that when you see like these rows and uh, columns you can set out the gutter margin for let's turn it to be seven as well and this is like what is like it's the column width this is the row height this is um, a column gutter and this is row gutter so we don't need to mess around with column uh, width as now cause like I'm uh, you can uh, you specifically know if you have used excel or some other program like that like it's uh, it's basically simple like you select the width and the height and it's done so uh, the thing that you should know is like the column gutter so let's choose it to be 50 pixels and yeah so you see these have been created let's remove them for once and let's make the row gutter to be uh, 200 pix uh, 20 pixels as such so you'll see we have this gutter present over here too so that's simply uh, about that and you can also use the marquee tool or any other selection tool to create margins for them as well so let's move this uh, margins gutter margins and create uh, like uh, gg press gg so you see now we have created for this as well like creating um, selections and then creating tables in that so it can be very useful for some of us guys who use uh, like these what we call it guides every day so thanks for watching and stay tuned on techniques and studios for more videos tutorials giveaways reviews etc the link to download guide guide would be in the description so thanks for watching